Hi guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for uh, watching my video today. Today's look is going to be a soft, sultry, uh, neutral tone look that you can wear every day. And I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. All right guys, so let's get into the makeup now. I do now. hear a little bell. It's my cat playing with his toy, so don't pay attention to it. <laughs> All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is prime our face. We're gonna go in with the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. And I do apply about that much. Next, we're gonna apply foundation. I do have this foundation. It is Milani Conceal and Perfect in the shade Light Natural. I'm just gonna put some on my hand. Today we're gonna use a foundation brush on one side. I'm going to use a sponge on the other side just to see if there's any difference. So first we'll go in with the brush. going to go in on the other side with e.l.f. Total Face Sponge. Looks like that. I'm going to dip it in the foundation. Well, to me, both sides look pretty. We shall see. Today I wanted to try a new concealer, it's the CoverGirl True Blend Concealer and it is in the shade Perfect Beige Beige. Well, I did think that it was a little too dark for me, um, but it does look very beautiful, you know, the way that it's laying on the skin. It's very hydrating, doesn't feel heavy at all, and yeah, I really like it. I'm pleased. So, so nice. I love it. Definitely. I'm probably going to go a shade or two lighter. I'll keep you guys updated. Next, we're going to go ahead and start on our eyebrows. I still have my e.l.f. in the color Deep Brown. Next, we're going to go in and clean up our eyebrows and use the CoverGirl True Blend Eye Concealer. going to set our face with Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder in Translucent Extra Coverage. As always, just put some in the cap. Just take a nice fluffy brush like this, give it a tap. The next thing we're gonna do is set our brows after we've powdered our face. Browie Wowie Tinted Brow Gel in the shade Dark Brown. We're gonna go ahead and get started on our eyeshadow. Yeah. Everyday look with a little bit of a fall spin on it. The palette that we're gonna go in with is this one, the Revolution Reloaded Palette. Those are the shades and they are so pretty and pigmented. And of course, um, the majority of them are matte. 
This one looks like it has a little shimmer. We're gonna go ahead and go in with these two and this darker brown here. So we're gonna start with our transition shade, which will be this one. We're gonna take a fluffy brush like this and go right on into this shade here. Okay, so that's the transition shade. With a more dense angled brush, we're gonna go in with this orange shade here, very lightly in our crease. Now bring the orange color just a little bit in here to the outer third of your eyelid, like in a V shape. Take a blending fluffy brush like this, just to sort of blend everything together. And then after blending, um, just go again in with this color here, one more time with the first brush. Next we're gonna apply some color to our lids. This shade right here. We're gonna use this eyeshadow brush by e.l.f. We're going to apply that same shade to our brow bone and the inner corners of our eyes. This color here. Okay, this one looks ready, so we're going to go ahead and apply it. And I angle them up. And just press them down. Okay guys, this one is ready to and apply it as close to your natural lash. Ready. Apply some mascara to your lower lashes. They should look like this. And I really think that these lashes complement this eye look very nicely. Next, we're gonna add a little bronzer. This uh, Wet n Wild bronzer shade is Palm Beach Ready. I'm just gonna use this um, brush here. very pretty a very very pretty healthy glow with this covergirl cheekers um, that I picked up at CVS it's called pretty peach you can see it there and a little on the forehead and a little on the chin a little bit on the apples to add that youthful glow Next, we're going to set our face, and this one is from Wet n Wild. This is it right here, and it is Prep, Set, and Refresh. It's a three-in-one. It smells yummy.
then that'll just melt everything together and really give it a pretty look and at this point you can apply some highlight and we're also going to contour a little bit because we didn't do this that. wet and wild contouring palette and it's in the dulce de leche we're going to use this shade here the highlight color And that's really all you have to do. You want to blend it out, you definitely use a brush like this. And that's it. Then we'll go ahead and set our face. We're going to add a little bit of our Smoke and Mirrors highlighter in gold. Now we're going to line our lips in the color Cinnamon by Bella Pierre. To fill in our lips today, we're going to be using something new that I picked up as well. And it is from Joa and it is a matte liquid lipstick and it is in the shade Sugar Cookie. I love the packaging. We're gonna try it out today and let's just go in. A very nice applicator. And that is very pretty. I think I really like that. Okay, so I'm going to take my hair down and put a little jewelry on. And I will be right back. Alright guys, this is the finished look. And um, what I did is I just touched up my hair a little bit. Um, I let it down and straightened it out a little bit more. And I did put on some jewelry. And um, if you enjoyed this look, please let me know uh, down in the comments. This is an everyday look that you can wear to work. You can wear it to a bridal shower, a baby shower, on a date night as well. It's just kind of an everyday look with just a little touch of glam, soft glam. The lips are matte and the eyes are a soft brown with very little uh, shimmer on the lids and um, this is um, an everyday look that you could wear to work definitely wear this anyone professionals moms yeah so thanks for watching I really appreciate it the jewelry and the top and all of the products that I used will all be listed down below in the description box. And I love you guys. And I'll see you again in my next video. And I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this look. And I really enjoyed doing it for you. So thanks guys. I love you and I'll see you soon.